Hello friends, this is Akul Mac live and I am Chandrakant. Uh, all of us go through uh, job interviews or, uh, you know, increase uh, of uh, levels in our uh, current jobs and many such things. And all of these involves interviews. Many people say that preparation for interview is very, very vital. And uh, some people say that it is a science. Others say that it is an art and uh, while uh, different types of interviews for different industries will require different types of preparation and uh, today we will be discussing about how to prepare for an uh, interview as a medical practitioner and to discuss this particular matter I will be joined by a very, very special guest. Uh, she's a doctor joining us from uh, London and she is also uh, a beauty pageant so a uh, beauty and brain so let's start our discussion but before that uh, friends i like to tell you that there is a giveaway from akul mac and how you can uh, win your free gift please stay till the end of this discussion we will tell you how what is the process to get your free gift delivered to you to your doorstep absolutely free Welcome back friends and let's invite our guest today. Uh, she's joining us from London. Her name is Dr. Neha Sharma. Very, very smart doctor, a celebrity of sorts and she is also a beauty pageant. Uh, today we are going to discuss uh, something which is very close to the medical fraternity and uh, therefore without further ado, let me invite Neha to the discussion. Hi CK. Thank you so much for inviting me. Well, it is uh, good to see you. And uh, how are things in, in uh, London? Things are getting better. The weather is better. I think um, we are looking forward for a new life now. Um, but still, there are a lot of restrictions. The government is gradually releasing the restriction. So we still have to be careful. But um, we are hopeful that um, because of this successful vaccine rollout in the UK, things might get changed in coming few months. They have changed already. And we are hoping that things will be much better in the future. Great. So uh, what are we talking about today? Uh, what is your advice to uh, people who are appearing in the medical examinations or interviews? Um, this topic is very close to my heart, CK. And I think this is completely a different um, kind of art which is needed, like how to appear for the interview. Because um, even I have got some piled up interview in the coming few weeks time. And um, it's all about like, you know, where do you fit? in the job specification, which your employee is asking. And that's very, very important to know that what is their expectation and where you can align your experience with them. And if these things can matter, obviously it's a win and win situation. But the other thing you have to pay attention is how you're presenting yourself. Um, and the way like you have to showcase because you have a very limited time and there are various people who are sitting there on the panel. You need to know your panel. You need to know their background. But what I would say is before actually going for any job, it's very, very important to go through the job description and just see where do you fit and whether you find this job suitable or not. So this is my first step that going through a job description is very important and taking from there further. Well, I think that is very, very critical, uh, Neha. And uh, you also mentioned that you have to know the panel. So is it possible to know the panel upfront? Uh, sometimes it may not be possible also, isn't it? No. Um, so in medical um, job interviews, um, usually the HR manager forward the details of all the panelists who are there. And um, as a pre-interview uh, meet, you definitely have to organize your meeting with these people. And you have to visit the unit as well. Like you have to go and visit the hospital, see how the things are, how the working condition is. Um, you need to understand what is the basically challenges which the unit is facing. What is their short term goal? What is their long term goal? Is there any current thing um, they are looking forward in a new candidate who is coming to the unit? So these are very, very important things to understand. What is their expectation and what exactly and in what way you can contribute to develop the service? This is very important. But yes, um, um, the HR managers send the details of the panel members to you and you have to organize your meeting with them. And it's a good practice as well, because if you know your panel members, like where they're coming from, what position they hold, what is their background, obviously you can expect the questions which they can ask you. And most of the time when you meet them, 
that's the time where you're sailing yourself because your first impression is the last impression. And obviously your CV has already made a massive impact and you're already being shortlisted. So you have already left thousand people, like many people who are actually applying for the similar post. But now you are in a zone where you are competing with as good candidate as you are. So you have to be, you have to know the method and you need to develop your answers in the similar way, which in a first go can impress anyone. And that's why when we are, when the panel list is being given to you and when you're meeting um, these um, people, you have to know that these are one of the very senior people who are entering a lot of people day in and out. So sometimes what I would say is it's a very good practice to meet some of your senior mentors or um, the uh, whoever with whom you are comfortable. And maybe some mock interviews is really helpful before actually going forward. But at the same time, when you're meeting these panel members, you get an idea what exactly their background is. And you know the questions probably what they can expect. And preparing on the same line is always and always helpful. And sometimes if your pre-interview meets happens in a very good way, obviously you have already left your impression on them. So probably it will make your job slightly more easy when it is a real interview you're facing them at that point. Well, Neha, you are a very well-established doctor and uh, you're very popular. And uh, when you go in front of the panel, uh, you're definitely going to be very confident. So do you feel that uh, or what is your advice? You know, your background matters uh, in such cases when you're applying for a new job or a new uh, new uh, consulting assignment. How does it work in medical fertility? Uh, to be honest, CK, um, even though people who are really very good clinicians, um, sometimes they fumble in the interview. Okay. Um, so interview is completely a different art. It's just like being a very good sailor or a salesman. Like you are sailing yourself. You just have got a half an hour, 45 minutes where seven different people are bombarding questions to you. And you just have to sail yourself in a very efficient way so that you can bring out all your strength in front of them. You can show them that if, if this job is given to you, you're an asset, you will prove an asset to this organization. And obviously everybody wanted to know what new ideas or what new things you'll bring to the system. Because obviously they have got an established team. They have got a wide variety of people with wide um, skill set. And now they are looking forward for somebody who will bring some new idea, some some new positivity, some more leadership skills into that team. So the most important thing is even though no matter how experienced you are, no matter how many years of experience you have, giving interview is something a very, very different skill set. And even I have appeared for a few interviews in the past. And obviously, um, in last couple of years, like I'm very new in UK as well. And Sometimes when you compete with the local people, obviously um, English not being our first language, even though I've been trained from an English medium school, um, uh, there is always a little bit of difference in terms of comfortability, in terms of expressing yourself, knowing the country, knowing the things which is here, like the established um, healthcare system which is working here. Sometimes being an immigrant doctor and just trying to establish your foot here Still in your early like four or five years, it takes a little while, like it takes a little time to reach that stage where you feel like, okay, I know everything. But at the same time, I feel like not discounting on yourself and just thinking that um, if you're being shortlisted for the interview, that means you deserve something. You are a deserving candidate and you are, you have those things on your CV, which reflects that they need you. Okay. So that is something which always boosts me that getting shortlisted itself is a matter of pride. Um, but at the same time, once you have been shortlisted, you have to give your 100% so that at least you don't have a regret. At the end, you don't have a control over the outcome. And obviously, they, there, are, there might be a um, situation where you might be competing with the internal candidate where somebody is already working as a locum. And now you are going for a permanent job. You are coming as an external person from somewhere. There are people or candidates from within the department who are applying for the same post. And obviously, people know them, people know their work, they have seen, and everybody is trying to work hard to get that substantive job. So sometimes it is tricky, but at the same time, I feel there's always and always, even for the external candidate, there's always and always win and win situation as well, because people are new. And it's all about in those 45 minutes, how you sail yourself, how you present yourself. And obviously, there's no escape except for being confident. But at the same time, not being overconfident is also important. Listening to the question, what the people are asking or the panel members are asking and being very, very precise is key important thing, I would say. 
and just making your answers very short, like two minutes, maybe maximum two or three minutes, and just keeping it very precise and very, very high in terms of bringing a lot of positive things about you. Like I'm very positive. I'm very hardworking. Few of the things which I always use is like um, just telling about yourself that how how much diverse experience you have got from different um, like both within UK and abroad and bringing those experience all together and saying that I believe that I can develop a high quality service. I have always maintained the standard. I've got a very effective uh, multi-source feedbacking and those kind of thing. Like you just have to co- focus on every area which can strengthen your points, which can give which will seal you in front of the other people and make them think that yes you are a suitable candidate for this job well uh, uh, hearing you it is a similar in- interview with uh, with any other field so i think it's no different uh, mm-hmm. but in our case for example a non medical job the subject matter expertise uh, does not have too much of a value because if you like you said that you have been shortlisted that means the subject matter expertise has been evaluated and that's why you are there so it's all about making a better communication so tell me are they going to value your uh, medical knowledge more or your interpersonal skills more in this kind of uh, interviews I think it's a balance of both the things. Um, every domain you have to tick box every domain, so there's no escape where they will not analyze your knowledge because your knowledge is already being reflected on your CV that what all you have done and what is your skill about. But at the same time, um, being an effective team player is something which is mandatory for every profession, and you have to ensure that um, you should bring up those points which proves that you're an effective team player. and um i think the most important thing is like how your team feels about you that is also important as i'm saying that feedback and references are very very valuable in every organization how your previous employees feel about you how much work you have done what is the impression with your work colleagues what is the impression from the junior team what is the impression from the nursing team it's very very valuable and if you have got a very positive feedback and if you have actually establish your relationship with them in a very effective way that give a panel member and other perspective to think over that even though that this candidate could be marginally average in terms of knowledge but has got very effective communication skill has got very effective leadership skill is very good in building up interpersonal relationship has got a very strong references i don't think so anybody can stop that candidate to be recruited to that post because these things are very mandatory as soon as you go higher on your on your position these things are expected as a senior person you need to have all these things in your personality and i think this is a selling point for everyone well neha actually uh, please don't uh, misunderstand me when i ask you the next question i'm not actually taking your interview but i just want to understand what is the basic difference between uh, patient management and interpersonal skill is there a basic difference um i think um this is very interchangeable words i would say um if if you provide the care based and around patient lifestyle and you give a clear choice to the patient and you have given a very clear information what is in the best interest of the patient what you think is a best solution or the treatment option and let the patient decide that what do you think we have these two three alternatives i think this is the best solution which will work but at the same time there are some other treatment modalities with lesser kind of expectation from a outcome point of view but it may take this and this route these are the pros and cons if you win actually the heart of the patient and if you establish that kind of relationship where there's a trust between a patient and doctor relationship i think that treatment will definitely work so your interpersonal relationship comes based on your knowledge the way you treat others the more compassion and kindness you show and keeping yourself at the shoe of your patient and just thinking how it fe- it feels being on a receiving end and being very very mutually respectful to each other if this kind of relationship is being built up with the patient i think that's a minimum situation so your question about interpersonal relationship versus patient management they both are correlated you can't give a treatment unless until you have established that kind of trust with your patient 
And if you have established that, that's a win and win situation for you. I think these are very, very important inputs that you have given us today. Uh, I'm sure our viewers will appreciate this because this is uh, very similar to any other interview, except that it is more focused on the medical staff. Tell, uh, tell us what is the most important factor to win a job uh, in this kind of situation for doctors or medical staff. Um, you mean um, when there's a patient or you mean when you're going for an interview? When you're appearing for an interview, what is the most important factor which will help you win that uh, position? I think it's a smile and your confidence and not getting stressed out because it's very, very important as a healthcare professional to be calm in a stressful situation. And interviews are stressful, no matter how confident you are, no matter how many times you have faced the interview, it is always and always very stressful situation. So giving yourself a little bit um, like when somebody is asking a question, not straight away jumping into the answer. Give few second pause, just think and analyze your answer and just think and then bring out the best from you. And that is important. But having a smile and confidence and your body language, the way you are sitting in front of anyone, I think this is this has got already like you've already done half of your job because the most important thing is what will happen maximum? You will not give in the job, right? But this is not the end of the life. But you need to understand what all experience you are gathering here. So for me, every job interview is a kind of exam that I'm going through. I don't think that there is anything like I feel like that I'm going to fail this one. Even if I'm not got shortlisted, I know the feedback. I know where I did really, very well. I know where I did bad. And I'm ready for the next thing. I'm looking forward for the next interview now. So that's why I can say that having a smile, having a confidence, believing on yourself is something which always and always work. I think you're uh, very confident and I'm sure uh, you will win this uh, position and we wish you all the best uh, make you. sure that you maintain your smile as you said so i'm sure you're going to also walk out of that room smiling <laughs> thank you ZK. i really appreciate it. thank you uh, all right uh, dr neha it was wonderful talking to you and thank you for finding time and discussing this very very important subject with us today i'm sure a lot of uh, medical people who are trying for new positions anywhere in the world will benefit from this conversation Thank you. So see you next time, Neha. Uh, and wish you all the best once again from all of us at Akulmac. Thank you. Thank you, CK. Bye. Thank you. We have some unique Akulmac memorabilia, which will make you look outstanding. The graphics on these corporate gifts are based on the global best business practices. To become recipient of one of these gifts for free, you have to watch this video till the end and provide your valuable comments or you can also share your experiences. The person who makes the best comment would be chosen to become a recipient of this beautiful Akulmac gift absolutely free delivered to your doorsteps. The winner would also get a chance to be invited live as a distinguished panelist during our next video. What are you waiting for friends? Please subscribe Akulmac and smash that like button.